Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney. If you are returning, welcome back. By the title you can see, I will be reacting to True Detective Season 1, Episode 2, and I hope that you guys enjoy the reaction. I know it's been a hot minute since I've watched True Detective, but we're getting back into it, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I lay awake thinking about women, my daughter, my wife. What about that sculpture thing? Yeah, nobody knew why that thing was in the playhouse. I mean, the aunt reckoned maybe it was something she made in school. I don't think they make those in school. Do you remember the last time you saw your daughter? Pray for that woman's family, and it's me. Mm, that's deep. When was the last time you talked to her? She came by not too long ago, maybe a month. Do you remember where that church was? Ah, uh, Hail Miller, Father Grace, the Lord's with you. I, 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 I get these headaches. Like storms. So I'm guessing migraines. Your mom's still alive? Maybe. Bad relationship? She walk out on you? I thought maybe she'd gotten into something like uh, like gaming again. You talking gambling or are we talking? And she says she found a church, but uh. Ooh, someone mentioned the church too. Hmm. Do you remember where this church was? No. She uh she mentioned some place down south. Shelter. Girls used to stay there something like a women's shelter like a homeless shelter for women he was just an easy target for him every person within a thousand miles of here is religious <laughs> yeah we've noticed <laughs> and this dude in new orleans felt remorse tried to piece her back together with crazy glue ew that's a good shot with the music you're looking for narrative build a story day after day they film this at because um I'm really liking the nature shots. Why didn't you leave when I had Chris call? Besides it wasn't as bad as I thought. Bad? Why'd you think that? Because the way you at. We had a baby girl. She died. Car accident. She was two years old. I remember she died. I just didn't know how. See, you don't know what people are going through. Man, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I mean, it wasn't you guys. I was worried. You know, being around that kind of thing. Yeah, I understand that. I can be hard to live with. I don't mean to, but I, I can be critical. I wear them down. They get unhappy. More like me being this way made me ride for the job. Work four nights a week. In between, I drink. We can tell. Uniform around my knees. Wait a minute, hold on. I don't know that her roommate has come home. <laughs> you know how I knew that she was in the room? Well, this is an interesting story. Now I can't do without <laughs> All right, well, tell on yourself now. Decompress before you can go being a family man. Might have us stop by. I don't know, where are you? The trifling bull. In the end, it's for the good of the family. Got you a present. We're giving presents to folks now. Oh, she gonna tie you up. Have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be Anything used against you. Yep, yeah, that, that part, girl. Mm -hmm. Don't leave out the court of law. <laughs> Not me hyping up the situation. <laughs> you definitely have a career in law enforcement. He got a lot of nerve talking all that mess to, oh, child, it's been a while since I've seen this. Cole got a lot of nerve. And he out here doing this. See, this is why you shouldn't be out here judging folks, guys. You don't know what they really, listen, the people judging you probably got all sorts of stuff happening. See, I, this this whole thing about to make me go on a rant. <laughs> now, what do you mean by these visions you mentioned? From my time in the HIDTA, high intensity drug trafficking area. I'm glad he explained that because I would have been like the H what? I spent four years undercover. <laughs> That's where they got them fed rumors I first come in. Those files are still sealed, huh? Say 200 for the bottle. Mm, looking at her leg. He's like, I'm just here for the pills, ma'am. Where would I look? Working girls might know the blonde. If she was gaming I 10 Southside? Y'all, I just caught what they meant by the whole gaming thing. They're talking, okay. <laughs> I'm staying with it as best I can. I'm police. I can do terrible things to people. And now we're back. What were you doing? Working. So did she throw her shirt back on just to untie him or uncuff him? We're not saying keeping it out of the press, but we're thinking that he's been doing this a while. Should you really be telling her this information? I can't meet a nice man at home. 
That hurts me. I meant that since you're married. Yeah, she, I mean, she's technically correct. You just want your cake and to eat it too. I mean, at least she knows. I'm trying to stay appropriate. <laughs> I'm sure that we're all grown here who watch this, but I'm just yeah. trying to stay as appropriate as I can. Bunny Ranch down south on Spanish Lake. What? Oh, that's Maggie, huh? What's with your fucking nose? Why are you getting offended if you're not doing anything wrong? Are you saying that's wife? The high tide you walking in with? No, oh, I just meant you wearing the same clothes as you did yesterday. Coupled with the fact that I ain't stupid. He's very intelligent, dude. <laughs> but it ain't worth losing your hands over. And I might just apply a couple pounds of pressure. Snap your wrist. Do all that heavy breathing all you want to. You know you're in the wrong, honey. You got a specific location for this place? I'm gonna have to ask for directions. Maybe you could just follow your nose. Or maybe you could just drop it. Looking for a little bunny ranch. Know where we could find it? No, sir. Russ had about as sharp an eye for weakness. I'll be right back. Yeah, he got something up his sleeve. <laughs> He's like, I know you know something. You're going to tell me what you know. Pick 353 South, and there we take it. Dirt fishing road to buy you Chanel. People impress me who are able to memorize all those directions because I would be like, I'm sorry, could you say it again <laughs> at least a good five times before it sticks into my brain? Is that it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like we're in the right place. <laughs> this girl said just trying to get some freebies because <laughs> they're police. What is this, some kind of hillbilly bunny ranch? You might want to talk to Sheriff Bilson. Something happened to a girl and we need to know if any of you knew her. Yeah. A story. Something happened. She did. You know about that woman found outside of e -Rath? Oh, no. Did something happen to Dory? She did. She was nice to me when I first came around. Gave me tips and stuff. Tips? About what? What do you think? You got any idea where she might have been staying the last few weeks? Her ex is in prison. We already know all that. She's been going to church. Okay, this is the third time this church has come up. <laughs> you said she left a bag. Can I see it? She don't need it anymore, y'all. Say, give him the bag. That girl's not 18. Mm -mm. Sheriff, no, you got underage working here. You want to know Beth's situation before she ran out on her uncle? Mm. There are other places she could go. At that age, she is not equipped to make those kind of choices. Ma'am, you've both been very helpful. We'll be in touch. Do something else. That's nice of him. But I feel like that lady gonna try and take a cut of that money. I saw the king in yellow moving through the forest. This is her diary, Marty. You know the sheriff has got a stake in this place, too. Of course he does. The king's children were marked. They became his angels. The yellow king, Carcosa. Fried her brain or whatever she was on. Up in the dose little by little without her knowing it. That could have happened. Oh, is that for the church? Could be the church everyone mentioned. North Shore Psychiatric Hospital. I spent four months there in uh, 93. At least he's open to talking about it. Sophia, my daughter, she was on her tricycle in our driveway. We lived down a little bend in the road. And I think I know where this is going. Claire and I turned on each other. Car came around the corner and hit her, from what it sounds like. I emptied a, a nine into a crankhead for injecting his infant. Oh, gosh. State attorney. Give me one chance to stay out of jail. Any agency or department needed a deep undercover narco. Mm -hmm. Okay. I took 325s in the side and ended up at North Shore. Okay, makes sense now. I said, put me on homicide somewhere. Louisiana is what they had. Oh, he's seeing the, yeah, okay. Why homicide? Quote from Corinthians. The body is not one member, but many. Now, are they many, but of one body. Hmm. Things like that didn't happen in these parts when I was young. Family stayed together. Things are so great. They never would have changed. If I have a problem with someone, I talk to them. Uh... She has to know something's up. I can't. Is something going to happen to these kids in this water? I got this lead I wanted to check up on. I told you about it. No, he didn't tell me anything about it. OK, well, how about we all head back there? All right, sweetheart. Yeah, she's no dummy. Just paddle in. OK. Okay, good. The children are fine. But I said I didn't know if all that talk about Cole's daughter was foreshadowing about something that's going to happen to one of Marty's kids. I mean, hey, you never know with these shows. 
Working girls everywhere. Does she recognize you? You might need a memory jog. Door, 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 door. You might be able to remember her a little more money. I might. I think she's just pulling his leg. There is nowhere else I want to be. I wonder if you even know you're lying. Oh, come on! I come home where there's supposed to be peace. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be what I want. You want me to talk about the woman? And maybe you'll stop with the poor me little whiny... Oh, sir, watch it now. You have developed some sort of selective deafness. Selective deafness? Even your mom thinks you're a ball buster. Oh, listen now. He hit, that was the hit way below the belt. Don't say sorry now. Yeah, but that selective deafness, I'm going to need to use that. Sometimes I feel grateful. Doctor said she didn't feel a thing. Went, went straight into a coma. Oh, wow. Isn't that a beautiful way to go out? <laughs> As a happy child. I can see what he's saying, yeah. You spared me the, the sin of being a father. We've been tasked with investigating crimes with possible occult links. And they want to see what we have on the Lane case. I don't see the connection between two dead cats and a murdered woman. We're not stepping on your toes, Marty. We just got the mandate. Xerox all you want. They're probably like, we're just doing our job. You too, my office. They just got settled. <laughs> you got an opinion about anything? You hold on to it. Otherwise, put in your big fat mouth. You got a suspect? Our, our bosses don't want you at all. Oh, wow. And our betters want a public, high-profile show of response. I got a whodunit where my two detectives are stalling. They're working. Well, this isn't productive. <laughs> well, you're a smart ass with your mouth shut. You took. I was just going to say. Make up your mind. How much more time could you get us? Give us the rest of the month. Two weeks. And then you two start catching again. Cole did exactly what I would have done. I would have raised my hand. If y'all are trying to jam somebody up, you're on to something new. Mm hmm It don't make sense. There's nothing out here. If it's one of those tent revival places, they move around. Yeah, there wouldn't be an actual building. Something up there. That could be it. That does look like a church. If they find another one of those little statues in there, or like stick sculptures, that'd be interesting. Ooh, the birds made that symbol that we saw on the girl's back. You saying you were hallucinated on the job? Sure was. No. According to him, no. You still see things? No, they stopped altogether. Yeah, they tend to do that. Were they trying to cover up evidence? Is that an owl? Yep, sure is. I thought owls only came out at nighttime. Hmm. This ain't no kind of anything. What kind of detective are you? It could be something. Marty. There are other times. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty solid lead. All right, everybody, that was True Detective, season one, episode two, titled Seeing Things. Makes a lot of sense now why it's titled that, because Cole is going through a lot of hallucinatory stuff going on in here. So in season one, episode one, we saw like them setting the scene, and then in this episode, we get to see how Marty and Cole interact with each other a little bit more, and really get to see like their process of going through the investigation, and honestly, I think that this second episode is actually better than the first one. It, for me, it, it really showed, I think my favorite part of this episode, you guys, was seeing Marty and that young girl together. Like, not trying to sound weird or anything, but because he was so, like, judgmental and just with Cole and how Cole just views the world and stuff I was just kind of thinking to myself like but what are you hiding you know what I mean it's the it's the people that are so open with their judgments of others that really make you think at least for me I don't know about I can't speak for anybody else but it really just makes you think what are you hiding not that it's any of our business what you're hiding but it just makes you just wonder like What's really going on behind closed doors with some people? Because there's a lot of people that walk around here acting holier than thou and that, you know, they're just so like, just, ah, goodness. I could, I could really, this rant of mine could go on for a long time, but I, I just really want to focus on a few other things that happened in the episode. Learning more about um, Cole's daughter, I know that he kind of paused and didn't really specifically say exactly how the accident happened. He said, you know, she's on a tricycle, you know, in our driveway 
and it was like around a bend. So you can imagine she probably went down the driveway and a car came and, you know, hit her and she went to a coma and then she passed. The reason why I said, you know, I can, I, I can probably figure out exactly what happened is because a few years ago where I live, there was, it was during the winter time, there was a little girl, she was on her sled in the driveway and unfortunately, I forgot how old she was, but she went into the street as a car or truck or something was coming and it hit her and unfortunately she passed away. And then maybe like a few months after that, uh, something you guys are gonna learn about me, I was a personal trainer for a little while and one of the our elderly members at the gym, he and I were talking and he was like, did you hear about what happened with that little girl um, that was hit? by the car and I was like yeah I heard about that and he said that was my granddaughter so that just took me back to you know that moment of yeah that I'm sure that's very hard for him to go through all that and I, I like I, I like that this show talks about trauma and talks about PTSD and talks about things that people go through after something tragic like for him, he went to like, you know, you know, using drugs and drinking heavily. I mean, I'm, he probably was drinking and smoking beforehand, but it probably just spiraled out of control because one thing that I can't remember what class I was in. Um, I can't remember exactly what class it was when I was in college, but I know we talked about how two people it had to do with PTSD. I know that, but specifically the class, I don't remember. But when, if you have two people walking down the street and they both witness a tragic car accident at the same time, one of them can just walk away from it and be perfectly fine. Not that it didn't affect them in any way, but they could be like, okay, yeah, someone passed. It was a bad accident. But then you have the other person that kind of like, it triggers them and it triggers this response in them that can cause them to go to drugs, go to alcohol, become depressed. It, it just, I, I, I don't know, that, that that whole thing with coal and the drugs and stuff, it just made me think about that, like how we can all experience something at once or most of us can see something and then we're all affected differently. So that's what I got from that. And, you know, I just, I liked the, inter I know it was kind of quiet during this, but I liked the interaction between Marty and I, I don't know if they even said her name, but I'm going to call her the madam of the trailer park hookah situation. She, like that interaction with them where he's like, she's a child, you know, she, she can't make these decisions. She can't, you know, she may think that this is the only way to get out of a certain situation, but there's other options and blah, blah, blah. And then you have her saying, well, yeah, but you know, this, this, and this happened. And it's just like, you know, we, I like the show because it talks about topics that are uncomfortable, but it makes you think. I like, I really like the fact that they're touching on certain things that we're aware of it, but it's just because we all haven't experienced certain things, you may not it's not going to resonate with everybody. You know what I mean? But it's good to be aware that certain things are going on in the world with certain people because child, I'm telling you, there's a lot of young girls out there that are doing this type of stuff. And I'm not saying young women, I'm talking young girls that have found themselves in these types of situations. But I'm trying to be, I'm trying to watch what I say. Obviously, Patreon, I can say whatever I want. But when I edit this down, obviously for YouTube, I got to kind of, you know, tiptoe around certain topics. So, yeah, but overall, really liked this episode. That, ep that, that, that scene with the guy, who is he? Was he the sheriff? Is that the sheriff that the woman was talking about? The one who's aware of what's going on out there in like the woods and stuff? The one that was talking and telling Cole that he needed to shut the you know what up? Was that him? I, I feel like that might be, but <clears throat> I don't know. I, I pro that probably went completely over my head. But yeah, he, um, again, I, I know I mentioned this in the very first episode, but having people with different backgrounds and different experiences 
on a case can actually be, be helpful because someone may see something completely different that you didn't see before. So like, okay, I get it. I'm sure we all know that one person in the friend group or one person in like your classroom setting from back when you were younger or whatever, who would always say stuff out their mouth that would make it, people go like, really dude, what the heck? But I don't know, in a workplace setting, uh, there's, there's just so much politics that can go into the workplace. Like, I get what the guy was saying, but at the same time, I felt real bad for Cole. So, but I, we, I can probably tell that Cole was gonna, you know, st stay the same and do his own little thing. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. Between Matthew and Woody, like, I think they're both playing their roles really well, but Matthew he's just really pulling me in with this character like he's he's a very very good actor and just the way he's playing this role i really really like it i like how we go like back and forth between like it's many many years after the case and you know he's talking with these two detectives and he's drinking and he's smoking and then you go back to when the case was happening and it's just, I, I think that he's playing this role excellent. Don't get me wrong, Woody's good too, but I just feel that between the two of them, Matthew just really draws me into the show more so. What do you guys think between the two of them? Do you think they're both, but then again, you guys have actually seen the whole thing, so I don't know. Maybe, you know, something's gonna happen along the way that makes me go, oh, okay, that was really good with what Woody did. Don't get me wrong, he's doing a great job, but I just, Matthew's performance is what's really like keeping me like interested in the show. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. Hope you guys are having a great day, evening, afternoon, whatever have you. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, darling, so that you know whenever I upload another video. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Bye.